Good morning, folks. Uh, meteorologist Jim Howard here with you. This is your latest WITN Weather Authority forecast for Monday, August 28th, and potential tropical cyclone number 10. It's a mouthful, potentially becoming Irma as we go through the day today, tracking right along our coast, and that'll happen tonight into tomorrow morning. With that in mind, a tropical storm watch is in effect uh, for most counties in eastern Carolina, excluding Bertie, Martin, Pitt, uh, Green, uh, Lenore County not in it, Duplin County not in it. Let's say the coastal counties in and around the sounds through the beaches. This will likely not be a powerhouse of a storm, a weak, disorganized system approaching. And here's the storm now. This is back around sunrise on Monday, the low off the Georgia coastline. A lot of rain ahead of that storm. That rain will start pulling on shore uh, later this morning into the afternoon hours. Take a look at the data on our cyclone. Uh, winds are at 35 sustained, uh, gusting to 40. So here's the low off the Georgia coast again. 30.3 uh, north, 81.0 west. Stationary. Notice the movement. Uh, zero kind of hanging out here. There's a front approaching from the west slowly. It'll start picking this up, moving it to the northeast later this morning into the overnight. And that'll track it right along our coast as we get into the overnight into tomorrow morning. Watch the track from the Hurricane Center. There's 8 a.m. this morning. I'll take you into 8 a.m. Tuesday morning and the lows somewhere near the coast, give or take maybe 50 miles either side. Expected to have winds just around tropical storm force. Again, even if it stays a little further off the coast, I don't think it would get much stronger than this. A little further inland, it'll be a little weaker than that. This thing may never become Irma, but right now it looks like just barely reaching Irma strength. And tracking through the area tomorrow morning, by the late afternoon, evening, this thing is pulling away from the coast. Things go much quieter tomorrow night. It may get a little stronger as it leaves, but who cares? It'll be leaving the area by that time. So a weak system tracking along the coast, primarily tonight. Tomorrow, you can watch the rain building in on the model data. There we are at noon on Monday. Coastal showers inland. The rain starts to spread in during the afternoon hours. Heaviest rain on the coast. You can see the model showing that heavy rain through the Outer Banks and the beaches. There's midnight. Same thing overnight tonight. A wet start and windy tomorrow morning. Temp around 70. And then watch the rain starting to exit midday tomorrow. We'll clear it on out of here as the sun sets. Uh, get the clouds out tomorrow night. Bottom line, midday today through midday Tuesday. Winds 25 to 50. Inland 25, coast 50. Generally the stronger winds later tonight into Tuesday morning. Rainfall 2 to 5 inches. And again, Inland to five near the coast. Uh, that potential for a little flooding near the coastal areas. Inland, we should be good. Storm surge, one to two feet, not a big deal. Wind's not that strong and not hanging around for a long time. I do not see significant water level rises. Tornado risk low, but possible. Uh, these kind of weak systems can produce isolated tornadoes. Again, clearing Tuesday night. Isolated coastal power outage will be possible as we get into the overnight more so. And then some pockets of localized flooding in our backyard. So again, it bears close watching as it's tracking right along our coast just in case it pulls a, a little curveball or something uh, out of the blue on us. They'll do that sometimes, but right now looks pretty good. Satellite radar again uh, going back to the, the local map during the morning hours. Still quiet to start the day. Uh, air temps generally will stay in the 70s all day, mid 60s at sunrise. You can see the rain approaching on the coast. Clouds thicken, temps 70s into the afternoon. The shower possible 11 a.m. more likely after lunchtime into the overnight. And there's your eight day forecast. We'll say goodbye to our potential tropical cyclone number 10 slash maybe Irma tomorrow afternoon into the evening. Settle in for a nice day Wednesday at 83. A little rain chance Thursday and then we get into the weekend with mid 80s. Chance for a shower there Saturday, Sunday at 20 to 30 percent.